Tech. Well, that was Mbasa and Samora doing their thing, you know, spreading the kindness. We want you guys to also do that. Be kind to whomever you come across. But as promised at the beginning of the show, we are joined by 19-year-old hip-hop sensation. Most kid is in the building. And now, right about now, we get to know the man behind the music. Welcome to Hectic Nine Eyes. Hey, what's up? How are you doing? Beautiful. I'm doing really, really well. Thank you. Okay, now, nice. before we get started, you know, the music and then also how you got into it, the name Mo's Kid, where did it all come from? Well, the name is a pretty unique name uh -huh. because like the two different parts, the most and the kid, I think they come from totally different, you know, like ideas. Well, the kid was definitely because I was very young at the time. I'm still young, you know what I mean? <laughs> and so it was either between choosing little that everyone puts or uh -huh. kid. So I'm like, okay, let me go with kid. And the most part was definitely because I grew up in Mozambique mm -hmm. for a few years of my life. So definitely had a lot of musical influence at that time from people there. So it was just like, yo. And plus, I was in a rush to get in my brother's rap group. <laughs> so I was like, KO, Mo's kid, whatever. Let's uh -huh. go. Yeah, so it was a quick name, but it was cool. Yeah. Okay, and the love for music or hip hop, where does it stem from? Um, it definitely stems from TV. Like I used to watch a lot of TV uh -huh. as a kid and it wasn't necessarily like cartoons and stuff. It was always like the music channels and you know, it was like I used to imitate them. So uh -huh. it started with the whole dress thing, then it went to like, you know, the way they did things. And then I decided, yo, let me do the rhymes. And then here I am, I guess. Awesome. Now, if I have to ask, like, who inspires you in the hip hop game or in the SA music industry? Who would that in be the and SA why? SA music industry. Um, I'd say Ricky Rick. Yeah, okay. I still go with Ricky Rick. Yeah. Now, speaking about Rick Rick, you actually did a track with him, yeah. or while well, he did a track with you, yeah. <laughs> called I Wanna Know, right? How is it like working with someone who actually inspired you to get into this industry? And also, what did you take away from the whole process? Um, it was a crazy experience, man, and a beautiful one. It was also mixed with the whole dream come true thing. Uh -huh. For me, I've looked up to him for a very long time. So for him to decide that, yo, it's cool, we can do it, it was amazing. But um, definitely, I learned a lot, man. And I would say the advice he gave me was worth more than him being on the song because like, he, I feel like he saved me a lot of years uh -huh. with the advice he's given me. You know, the music industry takes a long time. It's a long journey. So like, he's given me a lot of advice that I'll definitely be thankful for forever, yeah. Lovely, my friend. I'm, I'm more interested to find out how did it all come about? Did you tweet him? Did you call him? Did you go back, yo, Ricky, Rick? Yeah. <laughs> how, did it, how did it all happen for you? Yo, actually, me and Ricky have been speaking, like communicating since like 2011 or something like that. Mm -hmm. I think I was in grade nine or eight. Wow. And yeah. So I used to send him emails before he actually blew up like now and I always used to send him emails like yo listen to my songs, listen to mm -hmm. my songs. Actually with other artists as well but he was the one that replied. So when he replied I always felt like no Ricky Rick's gonna be the <laughs> one, he's gonna be the one. Uh -huh. So as I grew and as the songs kept getting better with time and then I sent him an email like the words started going around a little so when he got the email he was like oh that's Mo's kid again, oh okay. And it Let happened. Me do it. Yo, it happened. It was a dream and the race is crazy. history. Well, the is history, yeah. they always say the proof is in the pudding. Yeah. So I'm going to put you up to a little challenge. Since that you're a hip hop artist, can you do anything or rap anything? About what? With, about Hectic Nine Nine. About Hectic Nine Nine. Three, two, one, go. Okay, shout out to Hectic Nine Nine. Man, I'd rather be here than sitting in studio writing rhymes. Man, I'd rather be here than working at 95. But I'm here right now, so give me a high five. Oh, yeah! I absolutely <laughs> love that. Oh, my word, oh, my word, oh, my word. That, that was dope. That yeah. was so, so cool. Well, thank you so much for joining us. I really, thank really appreciate you. it. Thank you, thank you. But seeing that you're from Mozambique and you can speak a bit of Portuguese, yeah. you need to link us out to an ad break in Portuguese. Okay, you ready? Okay, all right, let's go. go. Fiquem atentos a uh, Hectic 99 no Val Nenhum Sítio. Stay tuned. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Shout out to this. <laughs> Tick.